You have got to get Israel to back off. They are relentless and they are taking out our Hamas leadership. We held up our part of the bargain to create a diversion to take the heat off your presidency and investigations. Come on, man. Don't be a lying yellow belly pony soldier. We paid Iran good money to launch that terror attack against Israel. You guys have been wanting to do that for years. But can you get them to back down now and do a ceasefire? I think that we have had enough. Come on, man. We have stirred up an anti-Israel movement with our Democrat party in college campuses. What more do you want? We even got the United Nations to consider membership for Palestine. Plus I have to run for re-election against that Donald Trump guy. You have to keep the border open. Business is doing great with the drug smuggling of the fentanyl and the crystal meth. We can even cut out the cocaine from the Colombians. The human traffic business and the transportation of illegal immigrants is booming. Come on, man. You know the deal. No joke. I have to get ready to run for re-election and the polls are down. People are starting to get concerned about the open border, so it looks like we are going to have to back off until after the election. But what happens if you lose against that Trump guy? He is getting to be pretty popular. Come on, man. You are talking to the big guy. As long as I get my 10%, you have nothing to worry about. I'm the guy that won the last election from my basement. We are getting very concerned about this upcoming election. That Trump guy is getting to be very popular, and if he wins he is going to hit us with a lot of tariffs and trade restrictions. Come on, man. You are talking to the big guy? No joke. Didn't we distract the American people from believing that you guys engineer the COVID virus in a lab? Trump is no problem. I beat him last time from my basement. But what about the investigations into your dealings with us and the money that we paid you for those classified documents? Don't worry, if they try to indict me, I will just play the senile dementia card. They don't call me the big guy for nothing. Why do you think that I make those mistakes when I give speeches and talk about that guy corn pop or my uncle getting eaten by cannibals? Just don't invade to one until after I win this election. Son, do you think that you could lay off of the cocaine and hookers until at least after the election? You caused enough trouble with that laptop and buying the gun illegally. Dad, I am sorry. I will try to do better. We are still doing pretty good with the payments from China and the Ukraine. You are still getting your 10% aren't you? Yes, I know but we are still getting a lot of heat and I do have an election come I'm up. People are starting to catch on to what we are doing so we need to tone it down a bit. Okay, dad, no cocaine or hookers until at least after the election. <laughs>